Secrets of Aromatherapy by Jenny Harding. And I really like how she did the cover for that book. Fade out of, fade out of orange. Now, so as you can tell, it's about aromatherapy and essential oils. So you got, so if you are into that, you have that for you. Get my wisps of hair out of the way. So, first chapter is about like essential historical background, and then there's essential oils and carrier oils. So you got to have that information going for you to go along with the aromatherapy and bringing in essential oils into different aspects of your life because it's not just put some essential oils into a diffuser and let it go or a few essential oils and a carrier oil and do massage massages but there is like an entire chapter dedicated to that so you got that looking that you got looking forward to that later on in the book but you got practical aromatherapy and the first two chapters to read through before you get to that. You got the origins of aroma, like the modern and therapeutic guidelines as well. So buying and storing. So there is a way of like storing them. I have them in a drawer drawer away from sunlight in the war in and my room is overall generally generally warm, not too hot or too freezing for the oils. So it's away from direct sunlight. So even though oils are in a darker glass container, you still want them away from the direct sunlight. Because even because sunlight can still go into them and start the process of in them not being as effective as they can be. So, has a key essential oil randomly throughout. Uh, for example, bergamot, like all essential oils, has the shorter like, lifespan. That's the shorter dot dot dot. Oh, shorter shelf life, six to twelve months, or Roman chamomile is soothing. And then it continues on. So randomly there'll be a QA kind of section, question, answer, question, answer concerning the topic. And then randomly also throughout there'll be a chart of condition, like it'll be condition, oils, and method and there's info on the oils and a data file so when she in the different sections talks about the oil she'll have lavender she'll have say lavender the name the like like latin or technical name in brackets italicized you'll have a bracket and then the little data file of like the botanical name, plant type, oil form, and a few other bits of information, just snippet form. You got random like stock photos kind of thing going on. There's treatment sections as well. Then you got some setups for the oils again, the paragraph and data files. And then you got blends for oils, carriers, and you got like perfumes and facial oils as well, and a few other topics as well throughout. Talks about consulting a professional, 
uh, about certain things. So, if uh, about using the essential oils and even like the ma the massages it goes into as well, and like the different treatments and stuff. So, and after it goes into these like different massages and like self massage as well, you got sunset bathing, the home glossary, further reading, and useful addresses at the back. So, if you want want a book that's part informative and part how to do these things. Secrets of Aromatherapy can be a good book to have and also a good starter book for information about essential oils and kind of like a quick introduction to them. So it can be useful but if you don't want to have those like massage technique that massage section it at least if you can find it in a library you can get the first section and the other tidbits near the back as well in there so secrets of aromatherapy by jenny harding happy readings